We continue to remember the life and the legacy of former First Lady Nancy Reagan. She passed away this morning at the age of 94. Quite a woman who has done so much for this country. Quite a love story that she shared with the former president. Let's talk to somebody who knew her incredibly well, James Baker. He served as the chief of staff for former President Ronald Reagan. He served as secretary of the treasury during the Reagan administration. He later served as secretary of state for former President George H.W. Bush. Secretary Baker, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here. You know, we all know what a woman she was and how forceful she was sort of behind the scenes in the White House. But before we talk about how she affected especially foreign policy, take us into the love that they shared, married for more than 50 years. Well, Nancy Reagan was indispensable to uh, every success that President Reagan enjoyed. Mm. He was his uh, closest advisor. Uh, she was his constant protector. And of course, she was the love of his life, and uh, it was a really a truly remarkable love affair. But her goal uh, in life was to uh, be with her man and to protect her man, and she did a very good job of that, particularly with respect to uh, personnel, but also to some extent occasionally with respect to policy. And you know, she, she said in one interview after he passed away, they say it gets easier with time, but it hasn't gotten easier for me. She said, I miss him more now than I ever did. And it just speaks to the love and you saw it in the way that she would, would gaze up at him. Let's talk about foreign policy, something you had a very heavy hand in. You said if you wanted to get anything done, you needed Nancy on your side. Well, not, not to get anything done, but uh, on some of the, in some of the crunch points. Uh, and you know, uh, the first term, I was White House Chief of Staff the first term, first Reagan term. And uh, there were a lot of uh, new things uh, coming at us at that time, and there was some tension and controversy in that White House. Uh, but she was uh, very much a believer in talking to people. She, uh, she uh, encouraged him, uh, yes, in, in taking the position that America had to become strong again before we could uh, begin to deal with the Soviet Union. But when the time came and after we had rebuilt Ameri America's defenses, and uh, reinvigorated America's leadership role in the world, she was very much in favor of him sitting down and talking to the Soviets, mm -hmm. trying to get arms control deals done, trying to, trying to make progress toward uh, ending a uh, war that had lasted for over 40 years. What about with Iran-Contra? I mean, isn't she the one who eventually sort of pushed her husband to apologize? Well, she did, and she, Iran Contra, of course, uh, some people have said, was the only stain on an otherwise extraordinarily successful two-term presidency. And when it broke, she was, uh, of course, dismayed and uh, and very disappointed. And and uh, and and I'm convinced that she is uh, one of those, at least, who convinced him to to say this was a mistake. Uh, I didn't know at the time we were doing it, but we were doing it and it was a mistake and it shouldn't have been done. She got him to do that. The one word that comes to your mind as you remember your, your friend, the former First Lady, Nancy Reagan, what is that word? Well, she was a remarkable woman and she was dedicated and committed and she was, ex she was head over heels in love with her man. Uh, one thing that I uh, continually think about is that she was his uh, closest advisor and really his protector. You know, uh, Ronald Reagan asked me to be his White House Chief of Staff after I had run two campaigns against him. Right. Uh, that's a pretty broad gauge uh, approach to things and I'm not sure it will ever happen again in American politics. Mm -hmm. But the driving force behind that decision, I think, or at least one of the driving forces, was Nancy Reagan. She was encouraged in that regard by uh, Mike Deaver and Stu Spencer. But she's the one that really, uh, I think, moved that, moved the president toward uh, making that decision. Mm -hmm. she, was, she was extraordinarily protective of him and she was very, very, of course, committed to him. And she had a very good political antenna for judging people that he might put on his staff or yeah. work for him who would have their own uh, canoe to paddle. He, she, she could tell when someone uh, was going to be loyal to the president's agenda and someone who was going to uh, seek to perpetuate their own agenda.
A great judge of character. That is what we have heard. Uh, Secretary Baker, thank you so much for helping us remember her today. You're sure welcome. Thank you. We'll be right back.